www.ctm.com. I have to watch every couple of years. I love this film for many reasons. Every frame really is a piece of art. It's really storytelling done so well. <laughs> it's just a great movie. And essential. The Haunting, 1963. This is a very artfully done horror film. I love in the middle of West Side Story and the Sound of Music comes this film, which is so different for Robert Wise. The Haunting is really a testament to the beauty of black and white cinematography. This is a movie which allows an audience to scare themselves. You wouldn't believe this, but five minutes ago, I left this door wide open so you could find your way. It closed by itself. Welcome to Hill House. I'm Dr. Markway. Well, thank goodness, thank goodness. I thought you might be a ghost. How do you know I'm not? The Haunting, 1963. Another great director that we're visiting this session, Robert Wise. Who, you know, this is a, a thriller horror film um, that we're talking about, but he, you know, had directed West Side Story and The Sound of Music. This came right in between the two of them, yeah. I, I think that's one of the things that makes it even more compelling for me, that it came from this filmmaker who was making such a different type of genre of films. And, and that's one of the things that excites me most about this. Yeah, even if you don't like scary movies, this one you might, you might find quite enjoyable because it also has some wonderful actors. The late Julie Harris from East of Eden and other films, but a great Broadway actress. She's wonderful in this movie. She plays her character all the way. Yes, absolutely. And there's Claire Bloom, great yep. British actress. Richard Johnson's in it, Russ Tamlin's in it. It's a very small cast. It's also, I think, a great testament to the value of black and white cinematography. Absolutely. Because this movie in color wouldn't have nearly the eerie, chilly feel that it has, which is necessary because, uh, as somebody says in the movie, this is a house that was born bad. Yeah. Are you all right? The house is a, a destructive house, a dangerous house to be in, and there are obviously some, there's something going on in the house that we don't want to give away, but it's a very artfully done horror film or The cinematographer that he chose was uh, much more versed in still pictures, and uh -huh. you can really see that. One early shot to look out for is the way a woman falls backwards off the stairs and where it lands. It's just very photographic. Mm -hmm. And yes, he chose very consciously to do this in black and white. Um, and I think it is incredibly effective. But I, I think, you know, there's a great film called The Changeling. Do you remember that? Yes, the old indeed. George C. Scott movie. Like, the things that you may not see are some of the most terrifying. Um, but I think there's just a creativity in the filmmaking, whereas today, we are all about the opposite. We want to see everything. Right. Um, but there was a film called The Blair Witch Project, which, um, again, I hate scary movies, but the end of the film is just this one shot where you don't see much, but the image is so terrifying. And I think that you can really scare people so much more by them scaring themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was this school of filmmakers. So there's some moments in this film where that certainly applies. Yeah, that really taught that to everybody. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see the film. Okay. Here it is, a movie based on Shirley Jackson's novel, The Haunting of Hill House, movie directed by Robert Wise from 1963, The Haunting. 